Hello, did you know that men leave women they love when they feel they can't make her happy? That's right, my name is Lisa, I'm a relationship expert. When I stumbled across this, this was too good to be true. I needed you to know about it, it's so important. The secret sauce to this whole thing is men need to win. They need to win, do you get it? So often we're in a battle with them, like we wanna show we're equal, we're as good as we can do, and maybe sometimes we just need to be right, but I'm gonna let you know, if you try to get to the point where you need to be right all the time, you'll be wrong and you'll be actually pushing yourself out of relationship. So let me share some important warning signs you know that you need to see just in case they start happening in your relationship or someone you care about so you can let them know about it, okay? The first warning sign you know when there's a challenge and there's a problem in the relationship and it's you, not him, is that he's not rushing home. That's right. It's like he finds other things more important. Think about it when you were courting. He couldn't wait to get home. He couldn't wait to be in your arms or you to be in his arms and everything else. It's always great, right? You walk in, you get a big hug and a kiss. At least that's what I used to get. And I still get, thank God, right? And I have proof. 20 years later, I'm still getting those hugs and kisses as soon as he walks in. But if he's not doing that, then you're missing something. He doesn't share in the same interests. All of a sudden, you find yourself doing all these different hobbies, going places. He's like, it's okay. You can go. Oh, no, go with your friends. I don't need to go and all the other stuff and you find that you're starting to separate slowly but surely and you're creating a new path for each other and you're wondering what happened and before you know it you didn't even see it coming but it was coming all along right the third one is he goes along with everything just for the sake of saying yes to keeping peace in the family you ever notice that you're asking for like what do you think what do you want and they go whatever you want whatever you want whatever you want to the point where you're over there making the decision you're frustrated that he's not because he feels like if he can't win with you why even try because if he says let's do this you'll say no I want to do that or I want to do this and then before you know it you're not happy so he feels he can't win and I'm gonna tell you when a man feels like he can't win he's out he's out of the game he's totally out of the game and it is a game because for them they need to win they need to feel important so if you were to think of this man and have a sign on him say WIFM you know excuse me MIFFI this make me feel important then you'd actually be able to change the way it is. Maybe he's getting short-tempered. Here's another thing that happens. He gets short-tempered with you. All of a sudden you say something totally simple and he's jumping down your neck and like, why, what's wrong with him? Well, again, you're the problem, not him. And maybe he doesn't actually want to even be intimate with you anymore. And it's no longer important to cuddle or even have the intimacy. And no men think about sex all the time and there's nothing wrong with it, it's healthy. But if he doesn't have an interest in you, you already know there's a problem. So if any of this stuff was helpful for you and you know that there are other women out there who are questioning their relationships, would like to make it better and wondering how, what's wrong with them, but maybe they need to look at themselves. Maybe they need to say, how can I make this man win? How can I make him feel important? How can I make it so that he's my hero? And I'm gonna tell you, the moment you make it so he's your hero by giving him opportunities to shine, to show you how great he is, to be right, I'm gonna let you know your relationship will shine too. I hope this was of service to you and that you get something out of it. Please share it with your friends. Let's make more happy relationships. And make sure you comment below, tell me what you took from this, and like it, share it, tag it, whatever it is. Have fun with it. Let's make sure other people get the help. Have a great day.